So here we are at the aquarium shop and I wanted to go over some foods that I think work well. Um, Hakari is one of my favorite brands just because of the sheer variety uh, variety that they have. I mean, you can see right here, I mean, they have everything, squid, krill, silver, silver sides, brine shrimp, you know, and they have a lot of different um, mixes and blends too, um, which is important, you know, giving your fish a variety, a varied diet, uh, is extremely important to them having a very good immune system. They also make coral foods uh, as well. And I'm a big fan of using frozen foods to feed your corals, just because there's, I feel like it's less waste than those highly condensed and concentrated uh, powdery foods. Now, squid is probably the food that we recommend uh, over all of them. Uh, it is an acquired taste for the fish. Sometimes it takes them a little bit to accept it, but um, it's got great health benefits for them. Now the other great thing I love about Hakari food that I think separates them from most of the frozen foods is they are um, individually frozen in little packs, kind of like an ice cube tray, which makes it really, really uh, clean and, and easy to, to use. Uh, not a lot of mess, so your hands aren't gonna smell really bad like fish or whatever, which I know turns a lot of people off. Um, but to me, it's all about having a food that's easy to feed, which means the customer is more likely to use it and more likely to feed which will lead to healthier and happier fish, which I love to see. Now for my personal favorite, it's the LRS food. For my personal use, this is the food that I like to go to, just because it's the most nutritious of all the foods. Um, it can be a little bit messy to use, but it's worth it because of the nutrient content. Rod's Food's also another uh, a great food. It's got some really high quality stuff in it. So that's another choice that you have. Uh, either one, the Rod's Foods or the LRS. Um, they're, they're both great, but you can see the ingredients here. I mean, it's got white fish, it's got shrimp, it's got scallops. Uh, same thing with the LRS. I mean, you, you got everything. You got squid, you just got a, a variety of things uh, in here. And there's different mouth sizes for different types of fish too. Um, so the Reef Frenzy actually has pods inside of it so that as you're feeding your fish, you're actually feeding your corals as well, which is very convenient. Now, this, like I said, this food can be a little messy, so you just kind of tear a little piece off right there and then uh, throw it in the tank and then just put the rest back into the freezer. But it can be a little messy. That's the only downfall on that. So next we got the IQ, uh, IQF foods, which um, they have a nice little selection too. It's mostly for bigger fish. You can see some silver sides right there. So if you have your eels or puffers or triggers and things like that, um, they also have, you know, a bigger krill. Um, what do we have here? We have uh, crab clusters, which uh, eels love. I actually feed these to my puffers as well. But we feed those, to, we recommend those to our customers who have eels. And they have clam strips too, um, which are really nutritious for predatory fish. I'm a big fan of feeding live foods whenever possible. Here are some brine shrimp. I think it's important to feed live foods just because of the bacteria content that they have, uh, something like a probiotic uh, effect to them. Um, so if you can find some ghost shrimp or any type of live food that you can feed your fish, it's always a benefit. Just make sure that they're um, raised and aquacultured in a safe uh, space so that you know they're not gonna come with any parasites. Now on to the dry foods, we have some algae sheets, which if you have a tang, if you have a, a angelfish, if you have an herbivore fish, you need to feed them algae um, in some form or another. I'm not a big fan of the algae wafers, but these little uh, nori clips, uh, these nori sheets, uh, you can put them on a clip, put them in your tank, and trust me, the fish, those types of herbivore fish really need them and they benefit tremendously from them. Um, and if you're, especially if you're busy, you can throw that in the tank and kind of forget about it. Now, I'm not a big fan of pellets and flake food just because they add a lot of extra nutrients to the water column. But I understand people, you know, don't have time to really be able to feed frozen food. Then um, they have an automatic feeder or something like that. So if you do use it, I recommend the Spectrum Foods. Uh, I do like those a lot. Uh, Hikari also has a pellet that I think is uh, a really good quality. Um, but uh, there are some fish that won't take the pellets and won't take the uh, flakes, so keep that in mind when you're shopping for fish. Now the P.E. Mysis is an awesome shrimp that I used to use when I worked in the fish store when we get new fish, some bigger fish like, you know, angels and tangs and stuff like this. This stuff is awesome. They put some type of like vitamin or amino acid or something on, on there. Um, it's very oily, uh, but it's a bigger Mysis shrimp than your uh, Hakari would be and your most Mysis shrimp that you would see which is nice for uh, bigger fish. Um, 
you know, the Hikari also has that big flat pack right there that um, if you want to buy it in bulk, you can. Now, one last thing I wanted to say was these Tigger Pods, um, they do not work well for mandarins. They're free swimming. They, they stay in the water calm. The mandarins really can't get to them. Uh, mandarins want the copepods that are on the rocks and in the sand and on the glass and stuff that they can get to. They're not going to ch be able to chase these things down. Now, they are good for other fish in the tank, uh, smaller fish, your chromis and your antheas. Uh, they work great, and they have a great nutritional content. So they definitely have their place, but I, I don't think it's a good idea to feed live ticker pods to mandarins. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Now you have these other refrigerated foods like this um, rotifers, which I think is great for corals. Um, I, I put this in every so every other night and dose it in my tank. And then there's a phyto feast, which um, I guarantee you use this stuff, and you'll have a, a population explosion of uh, uh, little bugs in your tank. Uh, they also have the oyster feast in the row, um, which you know is nice, but use it sparingly. It's really highly concentrated. And the mice of shrimp, obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's good quality stuff and the fish will take well to it. So the reef nutrition definitely has its place um, also. So what we have here is some dried mice of shrimp and some dried krill. Um, what's nice about this product is you don't have to store it in a refrigerator or freezer which um, my wife is thrilled about. Um, <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of other people don't wanna to have to be able to store that stuff in their um, refrigerators or freezers because it, it does kinda, of, you know, it can be pretty nasty. So what you do basically is you get some tank water from your aquarium. Now you, the reason why you wanna use tank water from your aquarium is because if you use tap water, you just, all you're doing is throwing in some chlorines and, and other stuff that from your tap water that can get to your aquarium that could, you know, cause a lot of damage and some issues and problems with coral and even fish. Um, and then you add your dry food into there and you can see how it's floating right now. So if I was just to add this in dry, all it would do is just float in this top and then just get go straight through the overflow. So you wanna give it some time to kinda saturate and kinda you know get waterlogged so it goes down. Basically reconstitute and then you're able to use it. Um, what you can do is use this um, an amino acid. So here we have the Brightwell Aquatics uh, Amino Omega. And basically this is just an additive, a supplement. And what you do is you just take a couple of drops of this and you just add it to your food. Let that kind of all absorb. And then you have the option, depending on what fish you have. Or if you have coral, you can add um, some copepods, I like to add a little bit of spirulina in there for some of the tangs. So a little power spirulina in there, that will all get absorbed. Um, and you have some other little plankton and stuff like that for coral and for, um, I find like chromis and antheas do good on these too. They'll, they'll pick on this um, and eat it too. And um, let that all soak up for about, you know, I mean, you can, until it pretty much kind of gets all saturated and, and, and the shrimp is at the bottom there. Let that soak for about, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes and then you're able to just pour this into the tank very slowly and the fish just kind of have a field day with it. There's also this Cellcon stuff. Um, it says an aquarium food booster. Now I have not used this yet, so I really can't speak on it, but basically you shake it and it's basically, you just add it to whatever food. Now you can add all this stuff to frozen food. You can add it to flake food. You can add it to whatever and make your own little concoction. So another food I wanted to show you guys are these uh, sea veggies. Uh, by Julian Sp uh, Sprung. This stuff is kick-ass. I really love this stuff a lot. I mean, it smells like straight nori. I mean, it's just straight seaweed flakes. If you look at the ingredients here, 100% dried seaweed. So there's no binders, there's no um, grains or anything like that. And this is great because Again, for angelfish, for tangs, and there's a lot of puffers and a lot of different fish that benefit from eating algae as well. But if you don't want to put the, you know, the nori sheet with the clip in the tank, you can feed these this directly, or you can mix it in with, you know, with your little concoction that you have here. My tang responds really well to this, and it's very important that we get these uh, seaweed and these veggies into our fish because they really need it in their diet. So I'm a big fan of this stuff right here. Definitely a very important part of the fish's diet. Now it's not easy to find. Um, this I don't see this at many aquarium stores, so it might be something you might have to order online. I'm pretty sure you could probably get it from both Brief Supply. It's definitely worth it, especially if you don't like having that clip of algae in your um, in your tank. This kind of lets you feed, you know, just 
a little pinch at a time. So just make sure when you, you know, you do buy a fish that you really do some research and find out how often that fish needs to eat, you know, what's their natural diet, try to replicate that as, as best you can. At the end of the day, we all want happy, healthy fish. It'll build their immune system and it'll help protect them from diseases as well. Now, if there's any foods that you guys feel that I left out, please let me know and um, we can continue the discussion. If there's any food that you think that, um, that you use that you've been really successful with, I'd love to hear it. Um, let's share some ideas. Let's figure out what works best for our aquariums and most importantly, keeping these fish uh, happy, uh, fat, and healthy. So with that being said, I hope everybody's doing good and I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'm gonna leave you with this parting shot from Tommy from Tanknitions. Um, have a good one. All right, so you're a beginner hobbyist. You're looking for food for your aquarium. My number one recommendation is to get a high quality, fresh seafood. Frozen food is the best thing that you can be feeding your tank because a lot of the uh, flakes and the pellets, they're very high in nutrients. You don't have to feed as much of those, but you can easily overfeed with that. It's very hard to go wrong with frozen food. After that, once you get a handle on feeding there, start experimenting with some flakes and some pellets because you can really bring out certain colors with those as they're highly enriched with vitamins. Take care.